East Hartford, Connecticut, home to the Yukon Huskies, where basketball has a championship pedigree, and there's plenty of enthusiasm for football as well. What an exciting matchup we have in store for you this afternoon, built around the pageantry, tradition, and everything that makes college football great. UConn will deliver the opening kickoff, and we'll get this game going. On the move from inside is five. And he's able to pick his way through the traffic nicely for a good return on that one before he's brought down. So the Temple Owls offense will get the first swing of the game. Here he comes, and obviously a defense is always going to be aware of a quarterback, but boy, he finds a way to put defenses on their heels all the time, David. I mean, what can't he do? He's got the weapons, he's got the confidence, he's got the experience. Jesse, these kind of guys are so hard to defend. You're right, they better be able to find a way to get pressure on him, because if they don't, this is going to be a long day. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. The give is to Smith. Great pickup as they'll keep this drive moving, and they've got it at the 45. I'll tell you what, you want to quiet this crowd down. You want to do something demoralizing to your opponent? Establish the run game early on offense. Unloads to the wideout. Already find a hole in that secondary. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. The Owls have it with a first and ten. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. Unloads it left. It's caught downfield. And tight coverage right there, but he makes the grab, and they've got it on the 11 and a red zone chance. And the Owls have moved it inside the 20. They go to the ground. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. You see all this movement in football now. All the stem, the defensive line, they're sliding right before the snap, creating confusion for the offensive line. Then they're moving back and stunting. Really good job by the defense. Continue to move, continue to stunt, continue to get in the backfield and make this life hard in this running game. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. And they can't make the connection on third down. Yeah, and third and short, they choose not to run, throw the football, and I think a lot of that has to do with they know they're in field goal range, they can take the three points on the board. Line of scrimmage is the two, and they can pick up the first down here, but going for the touchdown here on fourth and short. He caught it, and to the end zone. Touchdown, Owls. You want to talk about a great way to start the game and set the tone early. It's so nice to have a quarterback just get himself into the game, get himself established. You make a couple throws, you lead your offense down the field, you score right off the bat. Could not have been a better start for that QB. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. So the UConn Huskies offense headed onto the field. Our first look at them today. As we take a look at our impact players for this game, David, what do you look for to make an impact from your leaders? Your leaders not only have to lead the football team, but they got to step up and make plays on the field, keep everybody calm. These guys typically do a really good job. Yeah, David, the, and they also generally set the tone for their respective football teams. Regardless of which side of the ball they play on, the teammates look towards them to step up in big games like this. And his molars are probably rattling after that big hit, but he did get the first down. Just nosing into enemy territory at the 49. It's first and 10. Handoff from the gun. Got room at the 35. Hit the afterburners, kid. And finally out of bounds after an explosive run by this ball carrier. Now the chance to pay off that big play from just outside the five. Oh, and they'll try to catch him with a pass on target. They go up top to get it down to the five-yard line as they try to pay off this drive. Second and goal coming up. He's going to the right looking for a path to the end zone. 
He pushes his way down to the floor as they get closer and closer. Now it's third and goal. From the gun, wants to pass. Into the hallelujah land. Touchdown, Husky. And what did I start for this offense? The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting... Oh, they blocked the extra point. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they capped the drive with a four-yard touchdown pass. Fielded in the end zone, it's Stewart. Rolling the dice to bring it out of the end zone did not work out as he stopped at the 13. Temple takes over and the Owls send the offense back onto the field. Jesse, a very productive drive last time wound up with a touchdown. Yeah, mixing and matching play calling really well. Nice balance on that last one, Dave. We'll see what they can do here in this next drive. Yeah, and I don't expect anything different. When you put together a drive like that, I would do more of the same. Keep the pace, keep it going. Pulls and fires it complete to the right. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Off the play fake on first down. That's caught. It's right. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. They get him on the ground, and with that, we'll head to the second quarter. Guys, it's Temple with the lead here at the end of the quarter. One period in the books, and let's take a look at the stats. Temple, seven, UConn, six. They'll break the seal on this quarter here on first down. Might as well give it to him again. They finally make the stop, but the big run is plenty to move those sticks for the first down. Well, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again, right? It's been really hard for this offense in this game to run the football, but they finally break off a big run there. That could be the play they need to really generate momentum and get this run game going. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. And just an awesome job by that defender on that play. Great awareness, and he had his eyes on the quarterback, so he saw the ball thrown, and as such, he was able to go and swat it away. And the defense stops him just short of the first down. Maybe needed a few more chain links to move the steps. Here on third down, will they go back to the running game? Trying to pick it up on the ground. Been really impressed watching this offense this year and how good they are on third down. The reason they're so efficient, they don't have penalties, they keep these third downs manageable, and they've got a special talent at running back that can find his way to this. Just steamrolling the defense. Excellent job working through the air. They're finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. The Owls come to the line with a new set of downs. To the air on first down. Looking left. Pulls it in. Cut bounces over the top. I tell you, when this drive started, the defense thought they had them in a hole. Not anymore. What a performance. And I really like the play calling by the offensive coordinator on that last drive. That was a nice mixture of running and throwing and getting different players involved. Really nice job. Very poised in that play calling, and it showed up with the touchdown. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. Arizona is down right now, but you simply can't rule out a comeback. Teddy Bruschi had a hand in getting this kid to Tucson, so if he thinks the magic is there, you and I to disagree. It's a touchdown game. They're trailing by seven to Texas Tech. Power football with the run. We've got our eye on things here and everything else going on right now. And any updates, we'll see them here, guys. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. On the run, it's Edwards. Tackle is made, but not until he gets the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Off play action on first down. Throws to the tight end. Got his man downfield. 
Nothing but green ahead. And they are pushing the ball down the field. A big pickup on that one, and the tackle is finally made. Well, after that last play, you can see how electrifying this guy is and how special he is after he makes the catch. If I'm on offense, I'm trying to find a lot of ways to get him touches in this game. Tosses it incomplete. As a quarterback, this is going to be a very tough game. You're going up against one of the top 20 units in the entire country. They know who your primary target is. They're going to be keying on him, just like they did that last time, forcing the incompletion. Working his way and keeping those legs moving. Picks up five down to the 14. I know the passing game sells, and the passing game is exciting, but it's not exciting to get five or six yards of pop on the ground, but it will be very successful. Now they'll run the draw. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. And they'll send out the field goal unit. Right down the boulevard, it's good. And this guy has been a machine all season long. He is absolutely automatic. You know you're getting three points when this guy jogs on his So after the last drive, ended with a field goal, the kickoff team out there to send it away. Let's see what he can do with the return. And the coverage team able to make the tackle. Temple takes over and the offense will return to the field. Jesse looking to take it down the field for back-to-back -back touchdowns. I think it's really important for them moving forward, too, to have a lot of balance, right? You want to be able to keep this defense guessing, Paul. Yeah, and you got me searching for answers after that last drive. You stack another drive on top of this, their defense's heads are going to be spinning all over the place. It's the two-minute warning, and we'll see if the offense can tack a little something extra on their lead before the break. Fires to the middle. And this veteran quarterback just overshot his man that time. The timing on that throw and on the route was just convoluted, messed up from the beginning. And you see quarterbacks and wide receivers in the offseason always working on timing and always working on throwing on air. But when you put a defense in front of them, now things start to speed up a little bit. A lot of times you'll see these little mistakes and where it looks like just they're not on the same page all the time. Has this head coach lost his mind? Does he know where the ball is on the field? He's going for it this close to his own end zone. Turns out to be an easy conversion for this offense as they move the chains on fourth down. Ball is at the 35. It's first and 10. They keep attacking through the air. And the defense gets to the quarterback. And really good job getting to the quarterback. That's priority number one, trying to get pressure on him, get him to the ground as a bonus. They had six sacks in their last game. They got to keep building on that number if they want to keep stacking wins. Looking to throw, it's Simon. They're trying to get to him. Why the tight end? They'll wrestle him down just short of the first down. I don't even think they're going to bring out the chains to measure this one. Nice patience by the quarterback here, working against zone coverage. He was allowing his receiver an opportunity to find that open space in the defense before pulling the trigger. They've got it to the 49-yard line, and they'll move the chains. This is an offense that really sees their identity as being able to run the football. Nice job there picking up the first down. Chains are set, and Temple has it with another first and 10. Looking to the big tight end. They are on the move down to the 32, and they pick up another first down. The offense will have to use its first timeout of the half. They'll throw it on first down. Fires to the wideout. Complete downfield. Right on the money with that throw. The defense was there, but they are in the red zone with a first down at the 12. The give to the back. A run up the middle is stuck for no gain. Operating in the red zone here on second down. He's looking to throw. Trying to get to it. 
He just threw that one away. Nobody was getting open. He had to live to fight another play in the red zone. It'll be third down. This defense is going to have to make some adjustments here at halftime because they have been taken advantage of deep down the field in the passing game. They've already given up two TD passes. That was almost number three, and we're only in the first half. We've got a timeout in the waning seconds of the half. Maybe a chance to get off a couple more plays. So they are denied a touchdown on this drive, but they'll try to put up a three spot before the break. And it's no good. He missed it. Missed an opportunity for a little cushion. The lead is still five. Well, that's one the kicker would like to have back. That's a kick he should be making in his sleep. They'll come out and take a knee, and that should send us to halftime. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Guys, a first half that saw a little bit of everything there in East Hartford. Temple will try to boot this one deep to get the second half underway. And no chance at a return here. They'll start this drive at their own 25. UConn going back to work on offense. Tight game as we start the third quarter, and we'll see what type of adjustments they made at halftime. And getting the ball first here, I think, is such a big deal. Like, I get the first chance to make a statement, to make the adjustments, to create some momentum for my squad right here in the third quarter. Yeah, I think it's so important for this offense to set the tone here early in the second half, to get a nice drive going, build that confidence, and, and get your defense ready to come on out, get a stop, and change the complexity of this game. That's a really good job by the defense, wrapping them up, getting them on the ground, take away that run game, make them one-dimensional, put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. And off from the shotgun. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Man, that D tackle is a freak athlete. Did you see him come out of his stance and beat the offensive lineman? Getting to the running back, cat-like quickness. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. Really nice job by the defense. Here in the second half, they've got to have the mentality with the lead. If we just don't give up any more points, we get the W. We got to make big plays on third down. They made a big one there. And they'll get him down after the return at the 27-yard line. Temple takes over, and the Owls send the offense back onto the field. You want to talk about taking the wind out of your sails, drive the ball down the field, and miss the field goal, David. You know what? Don't leave it up to kickers. Execute better offensively. I think you move the ball nice. you got to keep that in mind. But, Palmer, I think you got to stay aggressive and don't settle for field goals. Yeah, because you got to know there's just no margin for error right now. You just have got to be able to execute at a higher level. Give to the single back. After the pickup of nine, it's second and one. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains, and when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. He's got it again. Tackle is made after the first down. You don't always have to run the sexy plays, right? It doesn't have to always be up-tempo and fast and spread and doing all this stuff. Sometimes you just lower your shoulder. Sometimes you just run powerfully. You get the first down, and that's all that matters. Feeling some heat. He's got it. And this defense is a half a beat behind. They just can't quite keep up. They've got it down to the 21. This offense absolutely humming as they come to the line again. Makes the catch. It's Clark. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. Man, these plays are really, really simple. Really easy to run. I like it. Just drop back as a quarterback, see the big fella, wait for him to get open, hit him, get a nice positive game. He's brought down, but he's got him inside the 10. First and goal from the 8. On the doorstep of cashing it in for the offense. You know, the defense, they just haven't been able to find an answer for this guy throughout the course of the game. Obviously, he's got two touchdowns, picks up the first down there. They've tried doubling him. They've tried man coverage, zone coverage. Nothing working on defense. They can't stop him. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. Caught on the outside, it's Clark. And tight ends aren't just line up and block guys. These guys are athletes, you line them up all over the field. And nowadays, you can start to feature them more and more in the passing game. 
Looking to throw on third and goal. Looking for the score. He makes the catch in the end zone. Touchdown, Owls. Have a day, young fella. I foresee some social media posts in his future. Not one, not two, but three receiving touchdowns on the day. What a ball game. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Terrific showdown this week, guys. Let's take a look at what's going on. Minnesota is on the ropes, and it's like they're looking at their corner and saying, no mas. The type of performance we're just not used to seeing in Minneapolis. They're trailing by 35 to USC. Just another week of college football where we've come to expect the unexpected. Fellas, thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. Last incompletion leaves them still sitting at their own 25 with second and 10. Looking for a crease to the left. Tackle was made at the 28 after a pickup of three. This offense can ill afford to come up empty on this drive, already trailing by multiple possessions. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. He just refused to go down, kept finding space, and picked up seven. It'll be fourth and one. UConn will have to punt it away. And the returner will be brought down. And gets set, first down. From the gun, the ground game. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? Second down coming up. The receivers often will run their route based on a side adjustment. Throwing right. Fires a bullet. Now it's picked off. Trying to take it back. And he is brought down, but what a way to finish this quarter with the pin. Guys, it's Temple with the lead here at the end of the quarter. Let's take a quick look at the national rankings to see how this playoff race is shaping up. The UConn offense goes back to work. They had to punt it away on their last possession, but man, what great field position this time. I mean, this is awesome. Like, last possession didn't go great. Now you're set up in an opportunity to get some points, start thinking about what plays I like, Jesse, as I cross the 50. There are a lot of offensive coordinators out there, David, and in this position, they like to take a shot right away and try and capitalize on this field position. Yeah, and a really good job by the defender understanding the ball's coming. I got to break on it and go and not try to intercept it and make a bad play. He swats it down and makes sure that's an incompletion. Looking for the score. And that pass intercepted. Looking for more room. He's at the 40. At the 20. And he will roll into the end zone. Who gives a hoot? The Owls do! It's a touchdown! They add on another one, and they're about to push their record to 5-1. Yeah, and that just might do it. Man, offense needed points, needed points badly. Defense comes up with the big interception, takes it all the way back just to pad their lead a little bit and make this game almost, almost out of reach. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And no problem on the extra point as they push the lead to 19 here in the fourth. They're about to kick it away, and the defense probably can't wait to get back out there after the pick six. And it'll come out to the 25. No attempt at a return. UConn going back to work on offense. 
That last pick six after a drive like that, David can swing the momentum of a game. The defense is still celebrating. I mean, such a big play. I mean, they, they gave up some yards, but did what they're supposed to do now. Jesse, this offense has to put a turn together. Yeah, they have to recapture some momentum here. What they can't do is go three and out and give the ball right back. Someone not clear on the snap count. It'll be a false, false start. start. They'll move it back. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. The offense set for a first down play. Was to pass. Caught in the backfield. It's Hicks. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. Trying to get a rhythm in the passing game. Now on second down. He's looking to throw. Pulls it in. It's Sheffield. They make the stop, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's all about. Offside. Offside. Defense. Defense. Offense will take that three, five yards every time. Bad discipline by the defense. Defense really hurt itself with that penalty. Now it's second and five. He's looking to throw. Unloads to the wideout. Caught over the middle. It's Sheffield. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. And the Huskies come to the line with a fresh set of downs. They're going to throw it again. Oh, and he just dropped it so close to his second interception of the game. Instead, it'll be second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. On second down, just keeps firing. They intercepted. And as a defensive lineman late in the game, man, when you know it's past, you're pinning your ears back, trying to get to the quarterback. And DBs are trying to do this. Pad them stats, get the INT. Nice job by this D. Smith takes the handoff. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. And it's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. They'll keep it on the ground. They get him on the ground, but it's a first down. It's a point in the game, I think, as a coaching staff, where you really challenge your offensive line to go win the football game, right? We've got to lead late. We're going to run the football. And the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Can we run the ball down their throats and impose our will? That's what this offense right now is trying to do. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. The give as they work on that clock. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. It's going to be tough sledding for the offense here. They're trying to ice this game by running the football and leading the clock. They've got a pretty good lead here late in the game, but the defense knows the run's coming, right? So they're going to be loading the line of scrimmage, getting stops like what they just did. Be interesting to see what the offense does on this next one. This Temple offense putting together a nice drive. They'll test the right side. They get him stopped at the 26, but not before he picks up five yards. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Back to the ground with the running back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And a lot of times when you blitz that linebacker, it's about timing. You don't show your hand, and he gets up to the line of scrimmage, gets right through the line, and makes the tackle for a loss. And as soon as the running back gets the football, he's got a face full of linebacker. Not much you can do there. Like, you got to have a little better block. you got to identify that blitz a little bit faster by the offensive line. All the way down to the 15-yard line. It's first down. They'll run it from the gun. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. That's got to be demoralizing if you're the defense. You're trailing. You need to get the ball back. you got to get off the field, but you can't stop the run when they're going between the tackles. This defense is going to have to get a lot more physical, especially in the middle. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. Touchdown, Elves! And the beatdown has ensued. That'll give them a little more breathing room as they try to push this winning streak to five. 
And this offense continuing to put up points. This game's out of reach. You know you're going to win, but still throwing the football, still finding that connection. I imagine there'll be some salty handshakes at the end of this game. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. The UConn offense goes back to work. Not a lot to feel great about in this one, Jesse, but I'm sure they'll try to seek out some positives. Well, this might be an opportunity, too, Reese, to go back when they watch this game and just find the plays and the schemes that were working. There weren't a lot, obviously, David, but maybe an opportunity for the coaching staff to condense the playbook. I was going to say, there's not a lot of good to go back to. That'd be a quick film session because there was more negatives than positives. And he throws his third pick of the day. His head has to be spinning. Nice job by this defense. That might be the exclamation point. Fourth quarter, I got a lead. You bring on the nickel defense. You know they're passing the football for plays just like that to make the INT and almost put this one away. Offense set on first down. Running out the clock seems to be a mere formality here as they are ready to snap it in victory formation. And the running game has been disastrous on the last couple of plays. They'll try to salvage the drive on third down. Just complete and utter dominance in this one. Outplayed their opponent and took care of business. Yeah, total domination in all three phases of the game. Offense, defense, and special teams. This team came ready to play, and man, it was pedal to the metal right from the opening kickoff. And that's how you like it. Forget the close games, forget the heartbreakers, the, oh, this play could decide it. Just frying pan meat face, ball game over. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.